What's the fastest speed you went with your Land Rover Defender or 4x4? It was really scary. I didn't like that though. Welcome to a new episode of Raw Life Talk. You're gonna tell me, can you drive at more than 100 kilometers per hour with your heavy loaded Land Rover Defender? So this is a comment that often, come, often comes back and I would say maybe more on Facebook yeah, than on uh, other socials and on YouTube. So we drive always heavily loaded. He drives really fast, like on the highway, it's always at the speed limit, 120 kilometers per hour. And he likes to go over that also. And with the heavy defender, I drive at the limit when I drive it and I'm all good with that. So the comment that often comes back is that we should never drive over 100 kilometers per hour with our Defender, especially if it's heavy, heavily loaded and that we're gonna break everything and it's dangerous and yeah, meaning stop living your life, that what it means. So do you, you're gonna tell me, comment below, do you think that they did manufacture this car that is capable of having heavy loads and towing also heavy loads and that what is the limit of loading three tons more more than three tons because the 130 it's three tons 500 mm -hmm. so did they manufacture this car that is capable of carrying heavy loads and towing heavy loads also and having a speed limitation of 130 kilometers per hour? And now people are saying that you should never go over 100 kilometers per hour. I think this is like untrue. They wouldn't like manufacture a car and saying that, oh, you can load it at that uh, point and you are allowed and able to drive it at that speed. And then people nowadays, I have no idea if this is something that was said like uh, 10 years ago or was it that all people were already saying that in the beginning? I yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, so it's like if nowadays like people were trying to stop you from living your life, like, oh, you shouldn't do that. It's dangerous. You shouldn't put this on your car. You're going to have some problems with your car. In a way, honestly, we have this car for now many years it has more than 200,000 kilometers we had one major uh, breakage failure on the transmission and that's it the engine is perfectly well for the moment and how he's driving his car for all these years it didn't change he started to drive it and he's still driving it the same way whether it's loaded not loaded it's the same and during all these years and all these um, kilometers that we drove this car, it goes well today. So don't tell us that what we are doing isn't right and that we shouldn't do it because we're going to have this and that problem when in fact we are doing it for many years. <laughs> and the problems that we have isn't the problems that you say. So, yeah, I think that it's not because you have this type of 4x4 that you should limit yourself. If you want to drive fast, you should try driving fast and see how it goes. If you don't feel it and that you feel it's wrong, you shouldn't do it. We feel it's fine how we're doing it and we have the experience of doing it this way and it goes well for us but if you did experience it in a different way and maybe you have a different setup as ours and maybe you don't have the modifications 
uh, on the transmission and all the parts that we have and maybe you don't feel that it's good to drive over this limit, over this speed and that uh, the car won't withstand it, don't do it. I'm not saying like live dangerously, but I do feel that today we are pushed back and that in many situations today, um, there's like this kind of general fear of uh, breaking something. Uh, if you go too fast, you're gonna break this. If you do this with your car, this is gonna break. If something breaks, it's, life you're gonna take time find a solution repair and you will learn something and i mean it's the same as for example in sports people say oh you shouldn't do too much sports you're gonna have some problems and your body is gonna get older quicker you're gonna have um, joints problems if you do too much of fitness or if the weights are too heavy uh, don't push too heavy you're gonna have more problems when in fact if you don't do anything you're gonna have other problems so i think that everybody should find the real balance uh, that goes for them but when someone has the experience in some different situations and that we personally share everything regarding our experience i feel that sometimes maybe often and even more on facebook people just repeat what they've heard and it's not especially a real experience that they did personally experience and that they just repeat continuously what they heard so the example of today's video is that you cannot drive an over 100 kilometers per hour with a Land Rover Defender. We do it with ours. I'm, it's heavy loaded. You can also uh, compare in other countries such as Africa. Yeah, there are many different situations where you see vehicles like ours that are like super heavily loaded and they still do amazing adventures. But don't say that what we do is incorrect if you don't have the experience of like really having all these adventures and all these years owning your vehicle. If you have maybe an older, really older Defender, I do understand like all the cars, not especially Defenders, all the cars won't weren't um, able to drive as fast as newer cars so this is also something to take in consideration but our Defender 110 2.4 TDCI heavy loaded goes well on highways driving at 120 130 kilometers per hour What's the fastest uh, speed you went with your Land Rover Defender or 4x4? I'm curious to know. I'm going to write it down and you're going to be like shocked uh, what speed he was capable and did drive and it was really scary. I didn't like that though. <laughs> but he tested. I'm gonna write it in the in a pinned comment and you're gonna tell me what you think about it. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share and also write uh, beneath the video what topic would interest you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.